KTVB Friday morning news time 750. Thanks for locking it in to News Talk 692.1 FM. As he does every Friday, he checks in. It's KTVB owner and general manager Paul Gleiser with You Tell Me. After a full week of abuse from his employees, this is part of his recovery. This is the five minutes I get where I get to say whatever I want unchallenged. We're sponsored by KE Sellers, Tyler's Old World Style Boutique Winery in the French Quarter on South Broadway across from the mall. Some programming notes before we get started. First, if you like what you hear on the air here every Friday morning, we invite you to share it with your social network. Go to ktbb.com slash you tell me and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Share the text of you tell me via email or share the video version of you tell me via the embedded YouTube video. If you agree with what we say or if you disagree you make it a better conversation by leaving your comments and then sharing with your friends and co-workers go to ktbb.com slash you tell me also you tell me is now part of the 9 p.m primetime news on fox 51 every tuesday and thursday evening we hope you'll join us there as well when you were a kid, did you ever get caught red-handed by your parents and yet try to convince them to ignore their lying eyes? Vice President Joe Biden did that in an exclusive interview on ABC's This Week with, a- with-, with Jake, Ka- Jake Tapper. In response to questions regarding the effectiveness of the $787 billion stimulus bill, he said this. The recovery package, everybody's talking about it having, it's over. The truth is now, we're spending more now this summer, the week, I'm calling this the, recovery, the summer of recovery. Do you remember the stimulus bill? It went from a blank sheet of paper to over 2,000 sheets of paper at a cost of over a trillion dollars, when you count the interest, in just over three weeks in the opening months of 2009. The largest spending bill in U.S. history was crammed through Congress in what would become a tradition with almost no debate and with no members of Congress having read the entire bill. When questioned, Democrats in Congress and the administration said that there wasn't a second to waste and that any delay was simply intolerable. A year and a half later, we're now told by the vice president that only now can we reasonably expect to see any results. So what exactly was the big hurry? This is the summer of recovery, according to the vice president. Well, okay, the summer's not over yet, but the back-to-school sales have started. If it's going to be the summer of recovery, it's going to have to hurry. If you go to the website that was set up as a result of the stimulus bill, recovery.gov, you'll see a graphic telling you that for the first quarter of this year, 682,000 jobs were funded by the American Reinvestment and Recovery Act. Note the language funded rather than created. Handing out money to pay workers that were already working isn't the same as getting unemployed workers back to work. You won't find any data on the recovery.gov website that tells you anything about the number of jobs created. That's because they can't document that any have been. Nothing that is said or written in defense of the stimulus bill convinces. That's why over 90% of Americans, according to some polls, believe that it was all a grand waste of time and money. The reason no one believes the stimulus did any good is because there never was any chance that it could do any more than nibble at the edges. And that's because the stimulus bill sprang from the fatally flawed premise that massive government spending leads to job and wealth creation. Just the opposite has happened. You want a true stimulus package? Here goes. The top 400 taxpayers in 2007 paid an average of $45 million each in personal income taxes. Instead of raising their taxes to pay for all of this useless spending, cap their taxes at $5 million and let them keep the other $40 million. That comes to $16 billion in the hands of people that are apparently pretty good with money. Oh, but Paul, they'll just go out and buy airplanes and fast cars and big houses and fancy boats with that money. Right. And someone will be getting paid to build airplanes and cars and houses and boats. It's an oversimple illustration, but it asks a profound question. Who can push billions of dollars of wealth through the economy to better effect? The government or the people who created the wealth in the first place? That's my word. What's yours? Go to ktbb.com slash you tell me. And you tell me. If you're drinking chilled white and blush wines as a relief from the pounding heat, I understand. But I am a red guy, wine, red wine guy at heart, and thus I'm never completely quitting on my reds. And that's, thus I recommend the just released 2007 Keeper Solid Estates Shiraz. The Shiraz grape is the most popular wine grape in Australia, and thus Shiraz wines are closely associated with food cooked out on the Barbie, as the Aussies say. The 2007 Keeper Solid Estates Shiraz will live up to its billing with your outdoor cooking as well. The Shiraz grape produces a very rich, powerful, full-bodied wine that'll go great with grilled beef, hamburgers, or barbecue. But again, as I always say, don't take my word. Visit K.E. Sellers today. Ask to try the Keeper Solid State Shiraz. You can do that because K.E. Sellers is a working winery with a tasting bar. Try any wine in the collection before you buy it. K.E. Sellers, Tyler's old world-style boutique winery in the French Quarter on South Broadway across from the mall. 
and online at kesellers.com.